we do have to of course do the gulag and let me just uh this is where this is. the gulag is actually where i do kind of get into bill maher mode because i'm kind of like okay and you guys are you know you're supposed to kind of be quiet until the open dunking starts and uh i'll i'll, I'll get to the uh it's the sort of TMBS new rules. This is it is <laughs> <laughs> The gulag is the new rules of our generation. All right, new gulag. Okay. If you don't want to end up in a labor camp, maybe don't do that. So here's my question about Chelsea Clinton. And it's a question that could just as easily apply to Don Jr. or Megan McCain or any number of other children of America's elite and oligarchs. Why the fuck do I even know who she is? Okay, and there is an obvious answer to that, which is she was a president's daughter, to which I say, fine, say la vie. But the second answer to that is that this is a person in their mid thirties who has accomplished nothing of their own merit, who insists on being a part of our national conversation. And once again, if she was providing value and putting points on the board, cool, great, whatever. You know, for a communist, I'm very forgiving and very easy to work with. But what I cannot abide, and this, and I'm not going to play the clip because I'm, I'm, I'll piss everybody off. I thought, look, she went to a gathering of people to commemorate the victims of the terrorist attack in New Zealand. Should she have been there? Let me piss off the Clinton white knights. No, she didn't need to be there. She didn't need to be there in a public way. Did the woman who confront her uh, maybe do it in a way that wasn't uh, perfect? Yes, she's also a fucking college student. And the reaction to her, the reaction to the reaction is the most disturbing thing. Hillary Clinton getting yelled at a little bit by a college student, or Chelsea Clinton getting yelled at a little bit by a college student is okay. She'll live. Everybody will be fine. And what really sticks f for me about this is in this discourse of whether or not it was appropriate, or whether or not it was this, or whether or not it was that, is the fact that whatever else you think about that interaction, it, it, it obscured the relentless hypocrisy of a democratic establishment that we echoed in the opening commentary. There's one group of people in politics, and I look, I don't draw an equivalency. It actually matters. It matters when Barack Obama went on television and he said, you know, there's a religion of peace and treat people with respect. But he was also the same person who was waging a global drone war that killed literally an untold amount of civilians because it wasn't reported as a policy design. This is a class of politicians that certainly in New York City and Mike Bloomberg's technocracy, a technocracy spied on Muslims. And this is a place where, actually speaking of Bill Maher, okay, it's totally fine to speak about Muslim people in a way that is so dehumanizing and essentializing that it would, you could not get it by on other areas and nor should you. Not even to mention the just ingrained racism and acceptance of perpetual occupation of Palestine, none of the things that Chelsea Clinton has ever spoken about. So that is the context. And if you want to say that the expression of the protest wasn't perfect, you got to give me the first 99.99999% of that statement. And then you could say she could have been better on camera, I guess. And then I'll respond to you, sure, I guess. She's 19 years old. Why the fuck are we even talking about her? This is Kathy Griffin. You think this is bullying? Ha, 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 ha. I, can, I speak from experience. I can't imagine you fucking pussy. You can't imagine you fucking pussy. Wake up. We're all on this planet together. Chelsea Clinton does not deserve this misdirected anger. That's a prominent celebrity attacking a college student 2.14 million followers 2.41 million confronting a college student for criticizing a child celebrity of politicians who inserted herself in a major news story and let's and it also brought me back to this and I and it's funny because I was on a patron call this weekend with comrade and above patrons you can do those calls with me 
And someone asked me about this, and I actually said, you know, I'm not going to talk about this because honestly, like, I'm not invest invested in Twitter drama. I'm not really even invested in hating Chelsea. I don't hate Chelsea Clinton. That's not the point. And I, you know, whatever. We got bigger fish to fry. But then I was reminded of this, that back a couple of weeks ago, when the political hit campaign against Elon Omar was starting, and this horrific, disingenuous nonsense from Batia Unger Sargon at the forward started. Sorry? What did you say? I said avocad, but I was just... Avocad, <laughs> right. Yeah, no, you, it, that joke needed to be made. Please learn how to talk about Jews in a non-anti-Semitic way. Sincerely, American Jews. And this grotesque, disingenuous attack on Ilan Omar. And again, as I always say in this conversation, God only knows, in terms of reality in 2019, the threats that she's facing. Okay? So actually, lying about her and smearing her is a form of incitement. And then... Chelsea Clinton comes along. Chelsea Clinton, who had a job at NBC News where I think there was like about one segment produced a year, even though she was a contributor and she made over half a million dollars a year. It was a really a good year. segment. What? It was a really good it segment. It was a powerful segment. I mean, Meghan McCain is a fucking useless, useless child of privilege, but at least she goes on The View every day. She and punches the clock. She makes an idiot of herself every day. She makes an incredible case against American oligarchy and inherited power every single day. Chelsea Clinton has done nothing except for co-sign her uh, you know, mother's attacks on Medicare for All. Chelsea Clinton tweeted this back at Batia. Co-signed as an American, we should expect all elected officials, regardless of party and all public figures, to not to traffic in anti-Semitism. To which I say, I agree. And you owe Ilan Omar an apology for tracking in trafficking in Islamophobia. And so maybe what people should do is they should take a fucking breath and leave a 19-year-old alone who will learn how to express herself better and ask themselves why the child of a fucking president who has his own record on the Middle East and Muslims which we don't have time to get into, but suffice to say to use the word that the kids prefer is highly problematic. Maybe you should step back and ask, why is it that we are even hearing from her to begin with? And how dare she go out of her way to attack somebody who is a self-made United States Congresswoman who survived a refugee camp? Chelsea Clinton should apologize to Elon Omar and ask her for a life coaching session. And that's the gulag. Okay. Can I just observe right, something yeah. I don't think anybody's observed yet? What is if it? If you look at the tweet that Chelsea sent here, it's replying to Bunger Sargon and Reagan Battalion, which means that this came across her feed through Reagan Battalion, which Reagan Battalion, if people don't know, is a really lame ass like kind of never Trumper thing. Wow. But they, uh, they, I, I'm looking for it. They tweeted something out that they had to delete because it was like sort of, I can't remember if it was like. Kyle signed as an American. What do you think? Ilan Omar oh, yeah. is, an, uh, is a fucking American. She's a congresswoman. She's a refugee. I mean, get the fuck out of here. And also, as as someone who who majored in Jewish history and is very aware of the persecution that the Jews have suffered, uh, it's things like this that actually make it difficult to identify real anti-Semitism. Right. Uh, so I think it, it as a as a as a Jew, <laughs> uh, <laughs> as a Jew, it's really it's really offensive, uh, and, and it and it, it really it, it traffics in the worst sort of political pandering and. and and, and she just really exemplifies the worst of the celebrity politician that we've had in the past, you know, 250 years of American history. Here, here's an example of a Reagan Battalion tweet that I think they deleted, but it says, uh, okay, Act 1, all socialists in internment camps, that would reduce emissions by a lot. I think that was, wow. a, was talking about the Green New Deal. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing Chelsea Clinton is following. Yeah, no, Chelsea Thanks Clinton's for your, uh, yeah. Your, she's very woke. And, and just like to jump off of what Daniel was saying, too, like, when it comes to Chelsea Clinton, the people who defend Chelsea Clinton and the arguments that they use are so outlandish, like just in this most recent example of um, you know, this person confronting her, the big the big controversy was that, well, Chelsea Clinton is pregnant. And can I just say one quick thing? I think it also exemplifies how, how white people, particularly white upper class people, expect to feel comfortable 
in right. every social situation. Like the assumption right. that Chelsea Clinton has is that when she enters a space, she belongs there. Yeah. And I think what, what has, and I really think what is behind this is that a bunch of people looking at, at this don't appreciate that maybe they are not welcome in every social space at literally every moment. So for example, <laughs> no, hundred percent. I think that's what it is. So someone, I think, I think she, Chelsea Clinton did truck in Islamophobia and it's understandable that a, a young Muslim woman, I think a woman, I think she was a Palestinian woman. In fact, right. doesn't necessarily want her at a, uh, at a moment, uh, at a, at a, a morning, a, a space of mourning at 100%. a particular moment. And so I think it just shows a profound lack of empathy, a total right. lack of empathy and a total narcissism on behalf of Chelsea Clinton and even more importantly, her defenders. 100%. You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time, and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe, we're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web, we're having fun, we're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash tmbs, or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.